Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Komal Kavar Shekhawat and I hope you all are doing great. I create videos on how to do econometric and data analysis using various softwares with SPSS, eViews, Stata and R. So if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. So this video is in continuation with the previous video on gravity model of international trade between nations. In the previous video, I have explained what is gravity model, what is the significance of gravity model, and how to obtain data for relevant variables to run the gravity model. Okay, so before watching this video, do watch that video so that you can have an idea about the gravity model and how you can obtain the data regarding gravity model estimation. Okay, the link for the same is also attached in the description box. In this video, I'm going to explain how to run the regression model to estimate the gravity equation. Okay, so to estimate the gravity equation, you need to first import your data file. So this was my data file in panel form, which has been formulated in the Excel file. All the data has been arranged in a panel format in the Excel file. So this was the data file and you need to import this data file in eViews. Okay. First, open your eView software and then go to File, then click on Open foreign data is work file because our work file is in excel form then browse your file locate it select your file and then open it okay so this is sheet one of excel so it is showing you predefined range that is sheet one and then click on next next and this is a dated panel data, okay? And then click on finish. All right, so you can see over here, the panel data file has been imported in eViews. Now to run the regression equation to estimate the gravity model, you need to first select all your concerned variables, okay? If you want to run an ordinary least squared model, you need to select all your concerned variables so as I have explained already that gravity equation deals with four important variables that is the trade, GDP of the countries and the distance between the two countries. Okay, this is the basic gravity equation. So to run the ordinary least squared model, you need to first select your dependent variable, which is trade. One more important thing, I have converted all the concerned variables in log okay in order to deal with uh, normality and heteroscedasticity okay so trade is the dependent variable and the independent variables are gdp of the exporting country gdp of the importing country and the distance between these two countries okay now open these variables as equation Now you will see a dialog box will appear and this shows the specification of the equation. So here trade is the dependent variable, GDP of exporting country, GDP of importing country and distance. These three are the independent variables and C here is for the constant. Okay. So the method is least squares method. The sample is for the time period 1988 to 2016, okay? And you need to click on okay. So these results are obtained by running the ordinary least squared model for the gravity equation estimation. You can see over here, the dependent variable is log of trade. The method is panel least squares and the sample that has been taken into consideration is from 1988 to 2016 and there are total 20 countries in the model. Now how do we interpret the results for this OLS model? See the first criteria is to check the probability value of all the variables. If the probability value is less than 5% level of significance 
or one percent level of significance, then all the variables are significant. So you can see over here, all the variables have a probability value of less than 5%, that is less than 0 0.05, okay? So all these variables are significant. The second thing that need to be noted down is the coefficient value, okay? So you can see over here, the coefficient value for GDP of exporting country is 2.00. This means that with the 1% increase in the GDP of the exporting country, the trade volume increases by approximately 2% or 2 units, okay? And the sign is positive, so there is a positive relation with the increase in GDP. So you can see there is a positive relationship between GDP of the exporting country and trade volume. With an increase in GDP of the exporting country, trade volume increases. Similarly, you can interpret the results for the next independent variable, that is the GDP of the importing country. The coefficient value is 0 0.49. This means that with the 1% increase in the GDP of the importing country, trade volume increases by approximately 0 0.49 units. Okay, so there is again a positive relationship between GDP of the importing country and the trade volume. Okay. And next is the distance. So you can see the coefficient is in negative. This means that with the 1% increase in the distance between these two trading partners, the trade volume decreases by 0 0.73 units approximately. Okay. So, so increase in the distance between two trading partners or the far the two trading partners with each other, lesser will be the trade volume between those two countries, okay? The next thing that need to be noted is the R square value. So this model explains that 52% of the variation in the dependent variable is due to the independent variables, that is the GDP of the exporting and importing country and the distance, okay? So this provides a space for addition of some other explanatory variables and dummy variables so that this could reflect better representative of the dependent variable, okay? And lastly, you can have a look at the F statistics value, which is also less than 5% level of significance. So model is a good fit because the probability of F statistics is less than 0 0.05, okay? So this is the interpretation of basic OLS regression model to estimate the gravity equation. Now suppose you want to employ a robust methodology to predict the regression coefficients of your gravity equation. For example, you want to employ the Hosman test. Now the question is how to run Hosman test in eViews for gravity model estimation. See. There are two types of model used to estimate the individual country specific effects. These are fixed effect model and random effect model. Now the question is how to decide which of the two models is more appropriate for your study or for your data set. See, Hosman test helps us to determine whether to proceed with fixed effect model or to proceed with random effect model. So let's have a look how you can run Hosman test in EVs. So first you need to select all your concerned variables. So if you are running the Hosman test for the basic gravity equation, then you need to select those four variables again. That is first your dependent variable, which is trade. And using the control key, select rest independent variables. These are GDP of the exporting country, GDP of the importing country and distance, okay? And then open these variables as equation, right? So this was the same equation that we used for running the OLS method. Now, what you need to do is go to panel options and here in the effects specification, under this option cross section, you need to select random, okay? 
and you can keep rest of the things as default just you need to select random in the cross section and i'll tell you in a while why we are choosing random in the cross section okay and after choosing this option you need to click on okay all right so these are the results now to run the hosman test you need to go to view and then select fixed random effects testing and then select correlated random effects that is hosman test so once you click on hosman test the results will be obtained so you can see over here these are the results for correlated random effects hosman test okay so these results are for the random effects all right so that's why we were choosing random in the option now we need to interpret the results for the hosman test see the null hypothesis under hosman test is that random effect model is appropriate whereas the alternative hypothesis is that fixed effect model is appropriate now we apply the thumb rule so if the probability value is less than 5% level of significance that is if the probability value is less than 0.05 which is the case you reject your null hypothesis this means that you are rejecting that random effect model is appropriate so to conclude the hosman test suggest that fixed effect model is more appropriate okay so we are proceeding with the acceptance of alternative hypothesis because the probability value is less than 5% level of significance okay so hosman test helps us to determine whether to proceed with fixed effect model or to proceed with random effect model and with the help of this probability value we have determined that fixed effect model is more appropriate because the probability value is less than 5% level of significance okay now since we have determined that fixed effect model is more appropriate for this panel data set to estimate the gravity equation we need to estimate the regression coefficients using the fixed effect model okay so for that you need to click on estimate because we are estimating the gravity model equation again and then this is the equation specification and here in the panel options in the effect specification now you need to select fixed okay because we are proceeding with fixed effect model and suppose if the probability value of the hosman test would have come greater than 5% level of significance then you are required to select random in the cross section because in that case you are supposed to report the results of random effects model okay and then you need to click on okay so based upon the hosman statistics probability you are required to report the results of fixed effect model or random effect model but anyway you can also report results of both the fixed effect model and random effect model and then you can mention in your thesis or in your project work that based upon the hosman probability value that the fixed effect model is appropriate or random effect is appropriate okay so accordingly then you need to interpret the results of the variables that is their coefficient value and the probability you can see over here the probability value is less than 5% level of significance and it is even less than 1% level of significance this means that all the variables are significant at 1% level of significance and similarly you can interpret the coefficient value so here the variable distance has a coefficient value of minus 2.17 this means that with an increase in the distance between the trading partners the trade volume decreases by 2.17 units approximately whereas the gdp of exporting and importing country have a positive coefficient value this means that increase in the gdp of the exporting country and increase in the gdp of the importing country increases the trade volume between the trading partners okay
The next thing that you need to interpret is the R square value. So approximately 60% of the variation in the dependent variable is explained by these three independent variables. And lastly, the probability of the F statistics is 0.00. This means that model is a good fit. Okay, so this is how you can interpret the results for random effect model or fixed effect model based upon the Hausman testing. Now, suppose you want to estimate your gravity equation by incorporating some other explanatory variables and some dummy variables. Okay, so suppose you want to add population of the importing country because population also affects the trade volume and population of the exporting country, real exchange rate between the countries. And suppose you want to incorporate three dummy variables, that is common colony, common language, and border. Okay. So once you have selected all your variables, you need to click on open as equation. All right. So you can see your equation here. Okay, trade is the dependent variable and rest all are the independent variables. And see here is for the constant. And to run the OLS model, you need to click on OK. All right, so these are the results for the ordinary least square model. Okay, so you can interpret your results similarly, like we interpreted the results for the basic OLS model with four variables. That the, Those are the basic variables of gravity model estimation. But once you have incorporated some other significant variables that can explain the trade between nations and some dummy variables that can also explain the trade between nations, you can interpret your results, okay? So first you need to look at the probability value and then at the coefficient value, okay? So here you can see the probability value for the GDP of the exporting countries again less than 5% level of significance. This means that with the 1% increase in the GDP of the exporting country, the trade volume increases by approximately 2.32%. Okay. Similarly, the GDP of the importing country is also significant. Distance is also significant, but it is inversely related or negatively related with the trade volume. Then again, you can see Population of the importing country is an insignificant variable that affects the trade volume, whereas the population of the exporting country is significant. Okay. Again, the real exchange rate is also significant. And the dummy variable, so none of the dummy variables came out to be significant over here. It might happen that if your data set is different for some uh, other country and you are dealing with another set of sample of countries, your results might be different, okay? So these results depict the trade nature or the trade volume or the gravity equation for a particular country and its trade pattern with sample 20 countries, okay? The basic idea is to explain you or to discuss here what is gravity model and how you can run the Hausman test, how you can incorporate some other explanatory variables and dummy variables in your model and then you can estimate your gravity equation in EVs. Okay, so you need to explain the probability value, coefficient value, R square value and F statistics value. Okay, so this is the whole idea regarding the gravity equation. Okay, so I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please click the like button. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.